Right, everyone, Brown Collector here. Right, I thought I'd just do an impromptu live stream tonight because I doubt I'll get a chance to do a video this week because I've been really busy. Uh, by next Monday, I should be back to normal, but yeah, uh, I'll still be streaming this Friday, but not this Saturday. So I thought I'd get one in today just for the sake of it. I won't bother doing my normal intro. So yeah, I'll let you know when I can see who's on. But yeah, sorry I didn't give anyone a warning of this either uh only two people know about this so yeah i would have warned people so we could have got more on so leo and liam and spaghetti noodles so yeah two new names mechanized and weaponized right mate yeah we're seeing a minute who's on all right rich no the funny thing is right rich i was just saying i would have warned i would have warned people i was doing this but then i never got around to doing it at least 11 maybe 11 30 liam i reckon yeah I'll, I'll i'll do it i'll do at least till 11 but i might go half 11 let's see what if i can hear people go to bed i may have to stop at 11. <laughs> no, hello marco hello wolf all right peach all right just gonna do the pop-up chat if we don't get loads on i'll chat i'll take the um Slow mode off. We'll see what happens. Novice Prepper, you know what I mean? loads of new names, but all must be regulars because they know my name. So, yeah. Yeah. Talk about anything you want tonight. I've got no topic. I was going to have a, um, a theme, but then I thought, yeah, uh, this, I, I, I was going to. I had planned to sort of stream tonight, but it wasn't guaranteed. But I didn't get in until, well, I didn't stop doing anything until like quarter to ten. So, all right, Riggs. Yeah. Are you from Wales, are you, Leo? Nice. Tell you what, if I can do the uh, thing now, I'll take the slow mode off for a bit. All right, Donna, good to see you on. All right, here we go. I'll have to put it back on, though, as more people come on. So let me just get this right. So it's slow mode. It's still on. Sorry, I've turned the fucking chat off. There you go. <laughs> right, let me know now. Slow mode is off. Chat away. Sorry, I accidentally turned the fucking chat off. Can you write? Let me know. Quickly. So slow mode is off. Chat away. You should get a chat now. Right now. Good to see you on. Yeah, just a bit of a random one. And I tell you, yeah, you can chat. And I accidentally turned the fucking chat off. Enable live chat and slow mode is off for now, yeah. Mark said, have you shot a gun before, Weapon Hitler? I've shot shotguns, but that's it. Blank firers, but I've never shot anything that's fired bullets. Mark for Green said, what's this channel? Well, I don't know. If you like that kind of stuff, you'll like this channel. I am Weapon Collector. That's, that's what this channel is. <laughs> right, have I got on the fucking um, right thing? Yeah. Right, Richard said, got the belt grinder tracking done. Just a few more tweaks and it should be done. Nice one, Rich. You're going to do a video and all that when it's done? I look forward to that. I've seen everyone's comments so far, haven't I? Yeah. Wolf Lux said he's from Nottinghamshire, anyone else? Um, we're all peace loving people here, Michael. Just because I've got guns, don't mean I'm violent. Um, although I don't believe in Jesus, though. So. Pete said, oh, I changed my Glock 17 Gen 3 fretted for a better Glock 17 Gen 4. Larger magazine slide top, and you feel strip it. Now, what, you got that now, or is it coming? Uh, 
Uh, Leo said, I know purpose built ones are illegal, but have you got any like antique brass knuckles? No, no, I ain't got any now, mate. If I ever saw some really old ones, though, I'd get them. You know, if I saw if I saw some hundred year old ones, antique ones that you could um legally own, I'd have them in a second. But yeah, it's getting them. Game Boy said, if you have to choose a sniper rifle, which would it be? Um, could be any. You know what, mate? I'm not sure now. It's been a long time since I've looked into anything like that. If I had one of my gun books out, I might be able to tell you. I ain't got a gun book about. Have I? Let me have a quick look. Feel free to pray for me. <laughs> Go on now. Right, hang on. I'm looking for one of my gun books. So I should have one here somewhere that Marcus sent me recently. Is it? I got sent one as a gift recently. I can't remember where I put it. There's the Jesus man gone now. Um, shit, man. Right, where am I? Ian, you right, mate? Yeah, I'd have to. Maybe, maybe, possibly the um, what the British Army was using recently. But um, I can't remember what that was. It was L something, wasn't it? Right, I'm going to have to put the slow mode on now because it's going... So I'm struggling to read things. Right. So, Peach, that gun, you've already got... Oh, back, oh it's on back order, is it? What did you cancel the other one and get a better one? He said... Hang on, let me get right. So, instead of let's see the weapon collectors, Wolf like said, Mike, Mike, you might, you might want to block this punk of green lad soon. I was letting him get away with it just for a minute until I um, got a bit bored. But yeah, Liam sorted that out anyway. Which I, I knew one of them lot would eventually. Tony says, buying a crossbow, nice one, well worth owning. I'm going to don't ban them one day. Pete said, the Glock Gen 4 is on back order, but it'll be worth it. Uh, but it's a revolver. It's come from. So you cancelled the other one and get another one. Ian said the Che Tech or Accuracy International. Things up, worry, you right, mate? He, said he just bought the Magnificent Seven. All right, what the new one? Revendorf said, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am the warrior. So that's also from the Bible. Ethan said, yeah, we'll do a video on it, Mike. We'll be using it to finish my crossbow bayonet and short katana dagger from the ruined cutlass blade. Uh, don't know the correct name. Did I comment on that, Rich? I have watched it. Leo said it comes from something when citizens of the UK have to pull out red spray paint and pens of metal points to defend themselves. Yeah, pretty bad, isn't it? You know, uh, things like that. Yeah, pen, as you said. I ain't got mine on me. I had it on me literally a minute ago. Yeah, sad old world doing it. But the only consolation is, though, as I always say, yeah, we have to def we ain't got much to defend ourselves with, but at least not everyone potentially has a gun, I suppose. That's the only that's the only upside of it, really. Number seven, Bruce said, Mike. Are you just using cup hooks on all your weapons on the wall, even the depths? Yeah, I'll be honest. I'll be honest, Riggs. It does damage them slightly, um, ever so slightly, if they're on, off, on, off, on, off. I did used to put tape on, tape over them to make sure it never scratched the guns. But to be honest, I will probably never sell any of that stuff anyway. But when it fucking, when my turn comes, I'm going to have to fucking destroy it all. Or someone else is going to have to destroy it all anyway. But yeah. But I would, if I was going to recommend to someone, I would say put tape, put electrical tape around the hooks just to soften them up a bit. T2, you're right, mate. Game Boy said, What is the best special force in the world in your eyes? SAS, mate, 100%. SAS, they're, they're the ones who, you know, the modern, what you call modern special forces, all revolves around the SAS, really. They were the ones who started the modern special forces. Um, you know what it is now and most of them 
are trained or were originally trained by the SAS or got their ideas from the SAS. And half the ideas that people used was created by the SAS and all that. Yeah, that's that's my opinion on that. May not be right, you know what I mean? Ian said, um, I haven't seen the new Mag 7. I hope it's decent. What is that then, Ian? Noodles, right, mate? Um, Ian said, 22 SAS are the big boys on the block, closely followed by Delta. Yeah, I'd agree with um, Ian there. All right, I may have to put the slow mode onto what I normally have it now because it's it's going quick now. So I need to catch up. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit slow, but this is what it normally is now. Pete said, just pull out the little blue airsoft gun. Talking about the funny video, sent you? Yeah, that, that was good. That last one you just said made me laugh out loud. <laughs> Bloody nutty, you are. Yeah, good videos. Um, same shot said, but everyone has a knife. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not. I'm not saying that. You know, but um, yeah. Everyone could have a knife, but we've only got to defend ourselves to get the knife. Aimboy says, "Spets and for life." Marcus said, "That's not upside down though. Armed people are citizens." Unarmed people are subjects. Opinions on the British Army. I'm a junior soldier. Start basic training in September. Um, I don't know. You know, I, I love the army. You know what I mean? And I think everyone should support their armies. You know what I mean? And you're doing a fucking proper decent job. But as far as that, yeah, I don't know. Um, I just ain't got much to say on it. But yeah, I think I think you're a decent bloke for doing that. Yeah, and I'd always support the army. Number Sabu said, that's what I thought would happen with the hooks, Mike. I do want to get some Perspex ones off eBay, but they're like 10 quid a pair. And I need loads. Yeah, that's a lot. That. Yeah. You do want to put a bit of tape on them, I think. I've not bothered with them. I just couldn't be fucking arsed this time. Ian said, Triffy, Mike, I only just noticed the name change, the names changing on your gun board. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. People who put their... um. That's the Patreon there. It says to like and all that. Londinium Armory, you're right, mate. Good to see you on. I know you don't always get on, do you? Because of um, your kids and that, and just you know, and just how it is, isn't it? Good to see you on, mate. Patriotic Brit, you're right. Wolf Lux and Leo Tone, you're not a soldier, then you're still a Covey, mate. <laughs> Be careful, please. They are. Yeah. Noodles said SAS is old World War Two. That's it. Yeah. Things the special forces also come from the Germanic Ghost Warriors. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. The modern special forces, you know, there's been special forces for, you know, probably thousands of years, but the modern special forces, what you call it now, who do the things that they know, do now, was created by um, Sir David Sterling. Colonel Sir David Sterling. And Paddy Mayne. Um, right, where am I? Will, you're right, mate. He said, love the army, hate the politician chicken hawks. Pol yeah, politician chicken hawks. Mechanized and weaponized. I'm going to say Delta, followed closely by SAS, but I have to say that as I'm prior US Army. Oh, yeah, I, I don't blame you, mate. You, 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 you know, most people would say their own, wouldn't they? You know what I mean? And then said, yeah, just put him to bed trying to snatch some free time. Yeah, I just thought I'd do a random one tonight because uh, I ain't gonna. I will be on Friday, but I won't be on Saturday, and I ain't had no time this week to do any videos just because of a load of shit. You know, not shit. Just been doing a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? So I thought I'll get a video out. So at least there's a video on so people will watch if they want to. You know what I mean? Uh, Slingshot said, "Do you think Ling Arthur might come back?" Oh, King Arthur. Yeah. Well, you know what, Slingshot. King Arthur is supposed to come back when Britain is in dire straits and really needs him to come back and save us. So <laughs> you never know. I was just laughing at <laughs> Peter's thing, that the Chinese King Arthur. Yeah, King Arthur. He's supposed to come back, isn't he, if um, England or Britain ever needs him to. So he might come back soon. You never know. Um, I love the King Arthur myths in that, though, by the way. That's partly why I like the Dark Tower so much, because the Dark Tower... Roland is actually related to his world's King Arthur. He is, the, he is a descendant of his world's King Arthur. Hmm. 
<laughs> some some weird troll there. It's gone now. That just made me laugh. <laughs> Did you see that, Pete? Fucking freak shows. <laughs> uh, someone's just writing a really weird insult to me. Right. Um, weapon and stuff. So haven't the SBS supposedly done even more impressive stuff in the SAS? I don't, I'll be honest, Liam, I'll, I'll be totally honest with you. I've never heard a single story about the SBS ever. Nothing, nothing at all. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. But I've literally never heard a single thing about any mission they've ever done. Um, the only, not to put anything down, but the SBS, but the SBS is from, and the SBS purely like boat stuff or water related stuff, whereas the SAS literally do everything. I mean, SAS, Special Air Service, is, it, it was like a fake name originally to make Hitler think um, there was a, another thing like the RAF. Um, but I don't know. I don't know anything about the SBS. I've literally nothing, nothing at all. And I've never heard anything about them, anything at all, nothing. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I think you'd know. I think you'd know something. You know what I mean? If they'd done any, if they'd done some big things, but I've never, literally, never anything. I'm gonna have to skip a couple of the um, comments if they're going fucking mad at the minute. Well, said you had to cut your hair yet? No, no, maybe in about a week. Yeah, I highly recommend you reading up about the SAS, Liam. Look up. Do you know that during World War Two, the SAS actually destroyed more planes than the RAF? And there's, there's some pretty fucking mental things that they did that people barely know about. I, I'm sure I read somewhere that pretty much half the, the D-Day stuff, if the SAS hadn't already gone there and destroyed a load of big big guns that basically could have shot half them boats out of the water, that may have made a difference. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about the SAS. Literally nothing at all. But literally nothing. Um, weapons officer, as far as I know, SBS can do anything as they are basically elite Marines. Uh, I think one public thing they did was taking out RG air bases in the Falklands War. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Vandinia Armory said, do any, do any of you study or read up on ancient special forces like the Varangian Guard of the Byzantine Empire. No, I've, I've never been interested in a lot of the old, really, really old stuff, but that does sound interesting, though. I do like the, the um, you know, Spartan stuff's interesting. Ian said, so SBS are famous for being at Tora Bora Afghan, Mike, uh, with Delta operators. Um, book is Jawbreaker. Nice one, I'll look into that. Tony said, SBS, uh, Special Boat Service, SAS. Still the best, I reckon, mate. Webs, I've said, they did a lot of airbase raids, didn't they? The technicals. With tech with the technicals. There's a good thing you can watch called um, SAS, the originals, where they actually talk to the, the people who actually did it. Because um, there are a lot of things where they think... You know, there's there's things where people say, "Oh, it was the the old Land Rover blokes who was taking them around." They said it wasn't. They weren't taking them around. Stuff like that. And you know, but yeah, there are documentaries you can watch that actually have. So David Sterling, um, Paddy Man's dead. Jock Lewis is dead. Um, but yeah, but actual the proper original SAS from World War Two. Very, they're brilliant things. They are. Leah said, have you changed anything of your EDC since last time? 
I think only possibly maybe a different torch using a bigger um this ain't actually it but I'm using an 18650 torch at the minute and a bigger stainless steel pen but I don't know where it is now I had it on me a minute ago I think I've chucked it in my EDC drawer Noodle said the SAS was known for putting false information on dead bodies left for the Germans to discover. Yeah, look up Operation Mincemeat. That's that's not SAS, but it's a similar thing where the British Army basically got a dead tramp, dressed him up as a general, I think, or something like that, put a note in his pocket with instructions that they was going to... Um, storm some island somewhere you know important to the place for germans let the body wash up so the um germans found it and then the germans obviously went to this place and then we went to you know but yeah operation mince me very interesting very bizarre funny because it's weird and i've done it i can't remember if they went and found but they went quite deep into it they found the um poor old tramp's real identity in that in the end you know like in modern times if i'm missing anyone's comment and you really want me to read it out just put it on again it's all right it's just there's loads at the minute there's more comments than normal jack you're right mate i thought i'd do a random one today i ain't getting no videos out this week so i thought i'd get something on today um but yeah Mark well, said to me, I've got, a, I've got a brilliant torch in the post the other day, mate. Damn lies. Forgot about that. Fucking decent torches they are, aren't they? Flingshot said the Apache tribe was really adept at guerrilla warfare. Yeah, but they were. But they were. Mechanised and weaponised. said, I think that I like about Delta is that the wall... That they all immerse themselves in the enemy's culture and live among them for months at a time. Basically playing... As one of the locals, I think the SS do that as well, don't they? I think I don't know if it. I think it is Delta Force in it. I think it may have been Delta Force who initially was actually taught most of that stuff by the SS. I think I may not be right about that. There's, there is one American Special Forces that were. Ian said Sicily invasion deception might mince me. Oh, nice one, Ian. Yeah. A lot of the times I know the basics of these things, but don't quite know the full things. You know, I can tell you the, the basics of it so you can get the idea of what I'm on about. But yeah, was that what it was? Sicily invasion. Yeah, quite a funny thing. Oh, um, Operation Mitch, mate. The fucking name of it, you know, it's funny enough as it, you know, as it is. T2 said, my uncle was a dog handler in Hereford. Um, one West Mercia dog trials on the run and the uh german shepherd he had was given a commendation for saving his life he also did training with other services oh that's good they're yeah, very interesting londinia marmory said the uh, i'm going to keep saying that the varantian guard are very interesting what's interesting about them is they were not byzantine soldiers they were from england scotland sweden and were hired as much naval specialists oh, that actually now that is fascinating yeah that's piqued my interest there. But yeah, that is um, that, yeah, that changes the whole thing. Yeah, very interesting that. Pete said I like sniper stories when they stay still for days at a time. Yeah, amazing, really, isn't it? Leo said my first ever video I watched of yours was League of Self Defense Weapons on in the UK. Nice one, mate. Oh, Game Boy said MG42 or PPS8. You know what? I'd have to look at them two to remember what ones they were, so I can't tell you. PPS8, I'll say. Iron Man said SAS are the best. Fuck the rest. <laughs> John, you right, mate? And he said, yes, Mike. It was the charging Charlie Beckwith who formed Delta after hanging out with the lads the 22nd in the jungle. Oh, nice one. Yeah. You know, again, I, I, I sometimes have the general inside, but not all of it. You know what I mean? Or I'm sometimes on the wrong one, but yeah. Tingshot said, I ate, I ate General Charles chicken and shrimp low main. Nice. I had for my dinner. Heated up Cornish pasty, boiled potato, peas and sweet corn. 
And I ate it not long ago, so I don't mind talking about food at the minute. Finally caught up. Oh, Game Boy said it's National Veterans Day tomorrow, by the way. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, I'm all right, John. Yeah. Pete said, I remember your video when you said about that woman who looked at the knife you had and then cut her hand to see if it was sharp. Yeah, that was a cutthroat razor that I've still got now. I was stropping, and I think she'd never, ever seen someone strop something before. So she said to me, what are you doing? I said, oh, I'm sharpening it. I'm just stropping it. And she took the fucking cutthroat razor out of my hand, and on the back of her own hand, went like that. Just for a second, I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Let me see if I can just show you. Because if you do it, it sort of comes up. Just for a second, there was like a white line down the back of the hand, and then it just went. <laughs> yeah, it didn't look like a scratch. Just for a split second, and it just popped open. Fucking nutter. Why would you test a fucking knife to see if it's sharp on the back of your hand? Iron Man said, I'm a veteran. I was in action once. I haven't seen her since. <laughs> I think so. Scottish are very good guerrilla fighters during the Middle Ages. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Well, the SAS has um, any British soldiers, so that'll involve um, Scottish. You know, quite a few of the famous ones. John McAleese was Scottish. Um, and you get Robin Horsfall, which was english i think if you want english you, i'm sure he was english um and there's loads of others but well, who's the one you met the other day briggs i forgot his bloody name now i'll go brain dead as soon as i've got to fucking say it. i'll think of it in a minute phil campion yeah um yeah all right where am i John said he's been better. Oh, what's the matter? Um, Marcus said, did she go through the tendons? Like, no, luckily not. No, and I'll tell you what, she didn't go to the fucking doctors or the hospital for at least two, three days. I kept telling her to go to the fucking um, doctor because it's going to need stitches. Because it was open about fucking eight mil. Not deep, but it, it come open. You know what I mean, but it, you would have needed something to shut it up. Yeah. Uh, I'm so boosted. I got a slap in the face last time I stopped in public <laughs> in front of a woman. Richard said, Thank God it wasn't a gun she was testing if it loaded. Oh no, fucking hell. I have also sat in this same room though and watched another girl shoot another one in the crotch, but just, just it hit her in the thigh, but not far away from her crotch with a um, <laughs> a gat gun with a dart in it. That was a fucking funny, weird experience because we were stoned at the time. Londinium said, there's a well-known bladesmith on YouTube who recommends you test how sharp a knife is on your, with your tongue. I don't recommend that. No, fuck that. Yeah, I would not try that. Leo said, I enjoyed weapon practice series on lighters. Do you care? Weapons and stuff, you mean, don't you? Um, I, I don't collect lighters. I have got a couple of Zippos. I've got a load of disposable ones, which I have for sort of survival stuff and just lighters are handy you know what i mean but no i'm not a lighter collector per se master commonwealth soldiers were in the ss of course they were because you get fucking oh um sergeant fucking tallahassee or whatever he was um i can't remember his name now he's got a statue but um yeah and he was um yeah he wasn't british or any of that lot But yeah, that's so uh, you know, I I know nothing about the um SBS, but I know the SAS must be doing something fucking special because you don't get a fucking um statue for nothing. You know what I mean Marcus nice, Commonwealth so I read that, didn't I? Things the ancient the ancestors of the Scottish held back the Romans. That's it, isn't it? And it um things like that's why the um Hadrian's Wall, that was as far as they got. They didn't want to go no further. Jumble Sabusa, yeah, big Phil Campion. Um, Iron Man said the picks held back the Romans. He said a lot of ginger haired guys in the SAS, lol. a lot of Fijian, yeah, that may be what um, old Tallahassee was, Fijian, I think. 
um, New Zealand. But aren't the New Zealand Oz SS different now? They used to be in RSS, didn't they? But they've got their own now, haven't they, I think? Um, one of VC, New Zealand, of Fiji. Yeah, that rings a bell to me, though. Game Boy said, who's, who's a veteran here? I must have a, a good knife test. It's a slice of raw piece of meat. Yeah. Uh, um, Liam said he uses tomatoes to test. Yeah, that's that would be another good one, wouldn't it? Things sort of said, yes, Mark, using night fighting tactics, thousands before the ninjas came up with it. Richard said, if a blade can shave hair, it's sharp enough for me. That's a good point, Rich, actually, yeah. Double Sabu said, where's that guy that's popped up? Watched a great video on here yesterday, guy making fire with a sandwich bag filled with water all week. Oh, what? Making like a magnifying glass out of it. That kind of thing. Daniel, you're right, mate. Game Boy said, I use a burlap sack with sand in it. What's that for, mate? Oh, testing sharpness of a knife. Iron Man said, SAS, I literally hit man with the army. A good way to put it. But most of the things that go on, you know, I think Colonel Gaddafi, when he was caught, that was pretty much down to the SAS. But they, it's not told that way. You know, a lot of the stuff is told in a different way, and it comes out later. I may not be right with that, but that's what I've heard. T2 said to Slingshot, I've ordered 108 mil steel balls. Can't wait to start when I'm in the field. Sam, you are right, mate? Londinium said he's actually a lot of honing and stropping maintenance to keep a working blade shaving sharp. Yeah, that's the thing. You do have to work it, don't you? And you do have to maintain a good, um, a good sharpness, don't you? Of, yeah, there's a separate New Zealand SAS now, just like there's an Aussie SAS, and there was the Rhodesian SAS as well. Finally caught up again. Londinium said their training place is, is called the Killing Room. That's it, yeah. Yeah, pretty much explains what they do. Yeah, it's fascinating. But yeah, all of that, I've got some SAS books, and it is fascinating reading all the stuff they do and the stuff they have done and... You know, absolutely fascinating. Fascinating. Yeah, I said, are you 41? Random guess. I'm actually 39. <coughs> What's the year? 2019, yeah, I'm 39. <laughs> I had to think for a second. It was my birthday recently. Yeah, guys, don't make me mention my birthday again. Um, weapons, I've said, we ended up shooting the Red Rider. Like an hour today. Great fun. I bet it is. That's the kind of gun that you can do that. And yeah. Mechanized and weaponized. I think best special forces group and also be subjective as well. Our different units train different and are used for different purposes. Delta does things different than SEALs who do things. Yeah, you're right there. Yeah, they are they are very different and they train different and you know, and I suppose there's also different cultures in because I've heard some weird, fucked up things about the Spetsnaz. That, um, you know, they've had some really major fuck ups in some of their things. And then there's also weird stories about them. Um, if you're in, did they shoot you? Their own, their own men. You know, I don't know whether that's true. I, that's probably a total bollocks myth, bullshit myth. But, um, but yeah. But I'm, um, you know, there are different. It's all different, isn't it? As you said, and some are for different purposes. Slingshot said, if you had to be a guerrilla fighter, what weapons would you employ? Anything I can get my hands on, basically. Um, that's saying some theoretical shit hit the fan situation. I think most people would probably be able to procure a shotgun somehow. Or you'd have to make something without going into details about that. Absolutely anything. Crossbows, homemade, um, you know, Molotovs and all that bollocks. Anything and everything you could get your hands on. On it, you know, and then you got to know the tactics. Remember, I've said ordered 3,000 more steel, steel BBs, though. I've probably shot 300 today. <laughs> Do you know what, Liam? I didn't even notice that. It's meant to be being gorilla. Yeah, if it's gorilla, then I'll be swinging around in trees, possibly with a stick between my teeth or in my other, in my other hands. <laughs> Yeah, I hadn't even noticed that. Mechanized weapon is different from Marine um, Force Recon Green Berets and that. Mark's 39. You slept outside a lot then. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. 
I didn't even laugh at Liam, he's a fucking gorilla or gorilla. Jumps Turbo, so I remember that the SAS are scrupulously trained to merge into doorways, seeing loads of pictures of them dressed up as letterboxes with the black flaps over their eyes. <laughs> Daniel said the weapon was off. What, uh, what did you shoot at? Do you have a specific target for steel BBs? Yeah, pizza sharp stick. Well, I could probably I could probably carry three sharp sticks if I was actual gorilla. I mean, I was one in each foot hand, <laughs> one in my mouth, swing around in the trees. Imagine. Fucking it, ain't it, Marcus? It's busy tonight, lol. Um, Ian said Navy SEALs are classed as Tier 2, unless it's Team 6 who's Tier 1. Um, what, what Dev grew, I don't know what that is, mate. Jim, you right, mate? Um, Wim's off said boxes filled with cardboard. That's what he was shooting. Saying so said, I thought you'd employ one of your trunks. And, yeah, possibly. Literally anything, mate. Anything I could get my hands on, you'd have to use anything. So, yeah, lead weight of truncheon. If you had to do some stealth tactic, can't be on them, knock them out of one. It definitely, yeah, lead weight of truncheon. Um, yeah, crossbows, anything and everything, wouldn't it? You're off game, boy. See you, see you later, mate. Or is that someone else going? Leo, so I don't get how you'd have 28,000 subscribers, but you only have 30 people on your live stream. I don't know what it is, Leo. There's something. I don't know if it's because of the age of my channel or something, but um, I don't know. When they brought the new algorithm in that, that supposedly was better, all my views went down to, like, a fucking, I don't know fifth of what they used to be stuff like that and then they stopped sending out my um they don't send all of my subscriptions a notification so yeah it's a nightmare really jbo said to me said the quiver arrived this morning mate already fit and ready nice one thank you for letting me know that you yeah, might appreciate that mate i'm glad you liked it um and then said he's talking about seal team six. oh nice one mate yeah it was the dev Dev grew a bit. I didn't know what that meant. He entered folk sub, then disappeared. Oh, that's that's something that's true, yeah. But they did do a thing where they deleted all the sort of dead accounts. But I know what you mean. But, yeah, you'd think with that many, even if they sent... Yeah, Liam says there, getting less than 1% of subs watching live streams, I was pretty standard across all of YouTube. But, yeah, but that would, that would still mean 280, though, wouldn't it? Potentially. 1%. I get um, 0.01%. <laughs> but I know what you mean there. All right, where am I? Pizza, I'm going to make a target box for my uh, BB guns. Yeah, they're good for that. Any um, ML Daz boxes now, or any kind of box you can fill with newspapers and shit like that. Uh, things that said, What's your favorite cudgel? My, I, I've always liked the um, uh, the old blackjack slapjacks. Yeah, but I, I, my lead wet truncheon, I do like that, which is just there. That's got a bit of lead in it, about that long. That's fat as my fun. Oh, is that what they used to be called, Landini? We said, I don't think they're called Dev Groot anymore. Oh, no, nice. that's what's confused me. I've not heard that. Um, Leo said, it's very annoying being so keen on weapon collecting and prepping when you're only 15. You have to try and convince your parents to buy your weapons. Yeah, that's it. I don't think I got bought anything like that for a long time. It'd be every very sparse. Every now and then I might get a knife or something, but yeah. When I said I said less than one percent, lol. So I mean, for you like under two hundred eighty, yeah. That's what I mean. I don't even get that. I get ten. I get ten percent of that. Or yeah, or yeah, ten percent of that. But yeah, I know. I know what you mean. You know. Liam, you right, mate? It, uh, you said on a recent video that you get raided every few years. Do do they give you a reason why or just turn up for search? Right? 
turn up with a search warrant and last time they said it was for stolen tools um the time before possibly stolen tools uh the other time i can't remember the other time was for i don't know and one time it was for a burglary i think one time it was genuine we had actually done time and all of the other times it's been bullshit. Oh, i think they raided my house once for supposedly graffiti down a down a alleyway so yeah who get who, whose house gets raided for pens for some graffiti down a fucking alleyway um but yeah they always have warrants in that mark said getting 10 percent likes compared to views is pretty good richard said to me i'm going to mention this on liam's stream but on the delivery laws on bladed weapons means i can't post sharp things anymore unless for delivery service check i'd um service check i'd upon delivery about i oh, fuck i forgot about that rich yeah that fucks you up a bit there don't it ian said dev grew is the new name till team 60 old all oh, right that did not i've not heard it called that just let me know Things it says fine craftsmanship, Mike, and your Warhammer. I might start Liam's one soon. I've got a bit of money in my um, Amazon.com now, because that's where I got the original hammer to mod it. D2 saying hello to JBO. Well, as I said, my parents were very anti weapon when I was young. I think that backfired on me. It's all dry, isn't it? Tim's, of, like my mum and dad would always like they buy us toy swords and toy guns and that, but never. I think it took to about the age of. Oh, I think I had a pen knife when I was about twelve. I had knives when I was young. First sheath knife about twelve, but dad grinding the blade down, so it was like a butter knife, so it wasn't so dangerous. But we used to walk around with them in our um on our belts, and then I think by the age of fourteen, bought us a BB gun, but wouldn't buy us any BBs, said so we couldn't shoot each other in the eye, and then. By the time I was 16, you know, and getting money, I could buy myself then. I'd, what I used to do, though, what me and Matt used to do, we used to make them. So I was making weapons by the age of fucking 12. We used to even make our own toy guns. And didn't even say he trained to a real sword since he was seven. Bloody hell. Tim, you're right, mate, Phoenix Halo. Dan said, What's your tag? What do you mean, my tag? Oh, my tag, graffiti tag. <laughs> it wasn't me, I was innocent. Liam said, did they ever confiscate any of your collection? No, I'll tell you why. Because I've never been convicted of any anything when the fuckers come around here. So they can't. Everything's legal. One time they took my crossbows after there was the crossbow killer incident thing. Because they CID thought they was illegal. So I don't know whether they took them, put marks on them and gave me a back. But they they all came back. Took every single one of my crossbows, including the homemade ones, which was like, you know, getting off 10 crossbows. Ian said, is your channel monetized, Mike? I know they hate weapons. No, I've actually been demonetized completely way before they started this weapon channel's cull. So I've not had um, ads on my channel for over five or six years, I think. Uh, weapons and stuff said we need a search warrant to arrest the dangerous graffiti artist. i'll go into a little detail about that because it is a bit more than that what it was i won't i won't go into too much details you'll just have to make the rest up in your head and if you if you say it right i won't tell you anyway but something pretty bad happened in this country about 20 years ago and there happened to be some graffiti near us that was related to it right um and then it just so happened that someone who lives in my house may have looked a bit like the person who did that really bad thing and i'm pretty sure this is what a solicitor told my own dad that's what we really got upgraded for because i thought we may have been something to do with something very 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 fucking serious but i don't know whether that's true or not i don't know whether you know i don't know if the solicitor did say or he suspected it you know i mean but yeah, I won't say no more than that. <clears throat> um, Sinkle said he's trained with sticks since he was a kid. Nell said one of my daughters is a joiner and loves it. Yep, I've got a female cousin who does who's an electrician. He likes that. 
Yeah, so then I remember the missionary that was trying to convert us to Christianity early on a string. Yeah, he's gone now. <laughs> Should have let the missionary stay. Did you see that, Londinio? <laughs> once, once the slow mode's on, that would have slowed him up a bit, but yeah. Right, the Impersane's parents wouldn't even buy him a cheap toy gun. Uh, just made me want one more. That's the problem, it does. And Sabu said, yeah, we used to make throw-in stars, baseball bats, daggers. Yeah, but that's what I used to do. I just started, um, I used to make my own toy saw, you know, swords and pump action shotguns, you know, wooden pump action shotgun with a piece of wire and a piece of hose on it and a, and a U-nail and a nail for the trigger so you could pump it and everything. Yeah. Pink said, my mum and dad let me get a zipper at the back the edge of uh, 15, but no fuel. Yeah. I went into town one day and got some from the Tipson's shop. That's it, isn't it? Things that nice to shoot. Handmade high-powered rubber band rifles. Um, that would wind you. Got shot with it. Bloody hell, that is powerful then. Ian said, I have a plastic double shotgun as a kid in the 70s. My bro turned it into a sawn off. Yeah, we did that. We did that. It was a sweet toy. Still can't believe airsoft banned in Australia, Mike. It's mad, isn't it? You know, and it's pretty much, pretty much banned over here if you want a normal one. Um, Londinium said, lol, sing shot warriors. That's a fitting name for you. Liam said, sounds like you don't have a good relationship with the police. That's why I got that. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I, you know, I don't, I don't think all cops are bastards nowadays. And when they come around here, I can get on with them, be respectful with them. And I've noticed if you do that, they're the same with you. And if they're not, they're just cunts anyway. You know what I mean? Because I'm never, I'm never disrespectful with the police. Um, so if they are being pricks, it's just them, not me. I know sometimes they like to try and wind you up. You know what I mean? But it don't work with me. It's like, it's impossible for them to do it to me because I, I know what they're doing. Um, but yeah, that, that was for the ones back in the days. <laughs> do you know what I mean? That was my fuck you to them. But I just, you know. Slingshot, so not slingshot. Number seven bushes, you can't beat the missionary. <laughs> skiddle daddle, skiddle doodle. All right, mate. I know I said that wrong. Skiddle skiddoodle. All right. Richard, my first weapon sporting good was a bow. Shot them ever since. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, I never had a bow as a kid. Maybe one of the, you know, really little small bows with a um, rubber sucker on the end, sort of thing. You know what I mean? But yeah. I've always had, but no. Uh, I think by the time I was 15, I, hang on, I may even have a picture. I'll show you our weapon board when I was 15. If the picture's up here. Yes, it fucking is. Right. No, I know it the wrong picture. I was going to say, that's my old board. I'll get it out one day. Now, I thought this was the one. I thought this was the picture of my old board, but it's not. This, this is my old board, one of my old boards. And my Bren gun there. You can actually see two gun boards there. That wasn't even the main one either. I've got videos with that stuff on there. I'll find the picture. Um, Londinium said uh, we made peg guns as little kids. You get a clothes peg, take the metal part out, fix a rubber band to it, get a plank of wood, take the peg to that, and it fires the metal part. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, that does. That is the kind of thing kids would love, isn't it? Things so said my grandfather uh, made our rifles out of solid boards and steel clamps. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I used to do: make a solid board, get a solid board, cut the shape of a gun out of it, put the pump on it, put the trigger on it. Mark said the land email. We used to do that. A powerful if you had the right band. Ian said it's always the kid cops who think they're um, ten men, Mike. Steroids and weightlifting. Uh, just in for battering, folks. The older, the older guys, for the most part, are okay, Tolliver. That's it, Ian. I know how to act in that nowadays, you know, and I know, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, you can tell the ones who want to try and have you, you know, have you up for something, you know, try and make you do something. And then, yeah, me and my friends could hit each other at 20 metres. Nice. Sam, I'm going to call you Sam. No, Sam, and it's James backwards. Singshot said we shot industrial rubber, the kind that was used for shipping. 
Leo said, what's the worst trouble you've got into with the police because of your weapon? None. I've never been in trouble with my... Never been in any trouble with any of my weapons. Because they would just fucking take them, or wouldn't they? Now, I've never been in any trouble over any of my weapons, Leo. Um, you know, I have been done over the years for having weapons out in the streets, or, you know. And, well, that's another thing I have to think of it, did I? I've tried to. But no, I've never been in any trouble over my weapons because it's all legal, you see. They, they can't say anything about it. Number Sabu said, Dad used to make me bows from you saplings and some builder's plumb line. Nice. I think my dad would never do anything with us that would shoot just in case we shot each other in the eye or something. I can't remember ever having bows as a kid. Apart from like, the really little short ones with the rubber stopper on the end. Dave goes to Ian... All the short ones who have real Napoleon complex, a lot of them around were just uh, put off school with something to prove. I had exactly one of them, um, JB, when I was younger, yeah. And he was the biggest cunt going and had been known for assaulting teenagers and shit like that. And they tried to do it to me and it broke some other teenager's wrist. And yeah, he was a cunt. Liam said, Do you have any? Um... And he was really short and, you know, he was one of them. Liam said, have you done any videos on bow making? No, I've never done any videos on bow making. I've, I've never made a bow. I've tried to make a prod for a crossbow, but it was fucking difficult to get it good. Tom, you right, mate? So good to see you on a Wednesday. How's things going? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Anyone here from near Shropshire, Tom says. Going to see Ofer's Dyke sing. I never heard of that. Iron Man said, the only trouble I got from the police was criminal damage charge back in 2000 when I was 18. Dumb as fuck. I'll be honest with you, Iron Man. It may sound like an exaggeration, but me and Malcolm were probably arrested over 100 times each in five or six years. Probably more than that. Probably getting on for 200 fucking times each. It was every single... We used to sometimes get arrested Friday and Saturday. It was just because we were alcoholics came from a very boring area there was nothing to do so you know and we had a bit of reputation anyway you know come from council state and all that bollocks yeah and it just become our fucking thing really and i think the police would actually come up looking for us and that's why i know what it's like to have stop and searches and that's why i think stop and searches are acceptable if, if you look like the the people who are committing crimes then i think the police probably should stop you but um yeah i used to get stopped by the police every single time i went out and the police saw me and you know and if we had booze on us because we was underage they'd pour our fucking booze down the drain in front of us and <laughs> shit like that t2 said wish i'd never been in trouble um sometimes i think that because it's made me paranoid now some of the stupid things I've done, but other other times, you know, I couldn't want, you know, it's made me who I am, sort of thing. Um, Londinium said, I'm the world's worst bow maker. Come to me if you want a shit bow that will break on. I'm said break me in two wings. <laughs> well, it lasted longer than mine. Mine broke straight away. My prod. Really difficult, because he's trying to make a bow about that long. Doing a prod. But yeah, my twin brother, I don't know if you've ever seen this stuff, Londinium, um, JJR Survival, he makes bows. Made the bows I've got. I am uh, to want more Wednesday live streams. Do you know what? I might do it more because this is fucking. How many people are on? It seems like there's a lot on today. I suppose it's because people ain't out, isn't it? Tom said, border ditch a Mercy and King built to keep the Welsh out on England, uh, from England 7, 700. Oh, nice one. Mike said to me, um, You've both done well since, Mike. Really turned your lives around. Thank you, Marcus. I think I have. I have, really. You know. Yeah. It was getting to the stage where something really, really fucking bad was going to happen, to be honest. You know, it was getting. It was getting to there. And I'm, I'm probably lucky it hadn't already. But, yeah. T2 said to Tommy, he's from Shrewsbury. Sengshot said, I'd suggest high-powered rubber band rifles if you live in the UK. They could knock and attack a silly... But it won't kill, and industrial rubber bands can be voted on. Yeah, that's probably a good idea there, Stinks. I never thought about that. Sam said, so what can I legally carry in public to defend myself from Sam? Nothing. You you can't carry anything to defend yourself. You can carry something in your pocket, 
that might happen to be used, if you get me, you cannot carry anything with the purpose of defending yourself with it. <laughs> but a good, uh, good Strogan flashlight is handy. Um, loads of things. Yeah, stab proof vest. I've got a video on it. Look up my video, um, self defense items. I hated calling it that. But there's, you can't not call it it, otherwise, no one will ever see it. Londinium said, I get tips from professional bow maker, bro. Uh, they take their time to tell me things, but the last three I made all broke. Um, Iron Man's bed said, We all want Malcolm 2. The Christmas one was legendary. Evans <laughs> off the stab proof vest. Um, Tom said to T2. Yeah, think of staying near Shrewsbury, get a drive in and out of Wales, I think. And didn't even said you can carry somebody like me along the road with you. Oh, yeah, he's even doing a thing so you can. But yeah, there's there's a lot of things you can do. You just can't say it's for self defense. I was speaking to a woman on here the other day about that. But yeah, I will definitely get Malcolm soon. But yeah, I've, I've got loads of fucking ideas for stuff you can legally carry that you may be able to defend yourself with. Partly in that video. I'll do a new one soon because I've got loads of fucking ideas now. It's interesting discussing it on the videos as well, what people think is legal, what isn't. Bing, you right, mate? How much of the stream have you missed? About an hour. I'll, I'll probably stay on for about another half an hour if I can. If I start hearing people go to bed, though, I'm going to have to stop. So, pretty much after 11, it could stop at any time till half 11. C CT, I never carry anything to defend myself from chavs when I'm out walking my <laughs> Belgian Malinos, is that? I'm assuming that's a great big dog anyway. <laughs> Richard said to Slingshot, I've got a similar project coming up, Slingbow, that is powered by spear gun rubber. Not missed anything of his, have I? Slingshot said to Mark, Mike's brother makes awesome um, wooden slingshot frames. Tom said, what's the law on slingshots, catapults in the UK? I think, I'm pretty sure slingshots are legal to carry anywhere. Whether if a policeman saw you with one in your pocket, he would stop you and talk to you about it, but I think they're, I think they're perfectly legal to carry anywhere. I think they're classed as like toys over here. I think they don't know what a slingshot can do, but a slingshot could kill someone and pretty fucking easily with the right bands and the right lead balls, you know, lead shot. Yeah, so I loved your video on protecting yourself against knife crime. Well, thank you, mate. I had a couple of people like, you know, say that was good. I I just want to help people with that one. I mean, you know. Yeah, it's good. It's good that, that does help people, or potentially help people anyway. Sam said, what handguns do you have in the back? I've got... No, I can't remember after fucking names to anything. There's a 1911, Colt Python, uh, Single Action Army, another old Western one, there's a PT-80, Smith & Wesson, and some more. <laughs> Iron Man said, Mike... Blob or Chucky, and you got any weapon? It has to be Chucky, because I think you'd be fucked against the Blob, no matter what you add. Chucky. Don't know. Pretty sure. Ch I think Chucky would be quite easy to have, don't you? Uh, maybe my um, modded machete. Chop his head off with that. Chucky's a fictional doll, by the way, anyone watching this. <laughs> Tom said, "Is there a major difference between the two slingshot and catapults?" No, I just think it's. I think that's just a cultural thing about names. England, we tend to call them catapults. Snooty booty, all right. I man said, "I'm the king of the chavs and the gypsies." <laughs> well, if you look up the meaning of a chav, I'd be a chav. If you look it up, what it means. Um, I'm not a chav, but if you look up the meaning of what a chav is, I, you know, most people live on the council state. Council state would be classed as a chav. Nell said to T2, her dad was born in Shrewsbury and he's bloody wild. <laughs> yeah. 
Bing said, I went over the hill and cut down a fairly straight ash stick, sanded it for about two to three hours, put five coats of linseed oil on it, and made a bow staff. Basically a free weapon uh, and can be a walking stick. Yeah, that's good. That's very good. T2 said to Nell, um, that's what my brother said about me. Ian said that they're a law to them unto themselves. We know you can legally carry a 12 foot round air rifle in a proper case. Don't stop the cop from taking it off you 99% of the time. Uh, they use the old, we're going to check it. That's it, isn't it? That's it. You have to be very careful what you do. I uh, think you're going to make a battle axe. Right? I think so one day. Get, I've got to get the stuff, though. And as you know with me, I don't really buy stuff for projects unless I really have to, and it's, and it's really cheap. So half the time, I have to wait until I just happen to get the stuff. And I also don't go out very often to find stuff. So if, if I come across anything to make a battle axe, I will 100% make one. Bing said, could anyone take me where, tell me where I can buy a slingshot in the UK? Um, a sling bow? Yeah, I don't know, mate. I don't know. Gabriel said to Bing, nice one. I'm currently keeping an eye on a yew tree I found way out in the woods to make a nice bow. Nice one. I didn't even. I always thought that when watching Chucky, he's just a little toy doll. Uh, just get a light, uh, a can of links, and toast his ass. That's it, isn't it? Isn't it? I, I agree with you. That's what. Yeah. You know, he must be very lucky. <laughs> they get these people, but yeah, he's not like some of the other killers who are fucking massive or get you in your dreams where you can't help yourself. Or <laughs> he's literally just a physical. He's not even got any special powers. The internet always know slingshots. Uh, be called a gadder. Oh, I've never heard them called that. Sounded incredible. I've no idea you can own handguns in England. I know in Northern Ireland you can. Oh, what I didn't mention though, yeah, those are deactivate or well, not deactivate. They're, they're replicas, air pistols, airsoft. I've got nothing that shoots bullets. I've got no firearms. All my stuff. If I had firearms, they'd have to be in a safe. All that stuff up there, stuff you can legally have just on a board like that. Snoochie said, don't get your knickers in a twist. Oh, it's a bloody, you bloody twat is a British insult. Yeah, you got blocked for that. <laughs> I thought you were saying that to me then. <laughs> Good job I read it all. Snoochie said, do you have a 500 Smith & Wesson pistol? No, I don't, mate. Um, Stingshot said, look up Gamekeeper John or Romany Custom Catapults, JBO. Tom said, I remember the first time I had Chav on the radio in about 2005. More me just creating another word to put yeah, to put down anyone who had something about them they didn't um, didn't like them. Down. Yeah, I remember when the word Chav came about or was popularized. It's just like a lot of bollocks, isn't it? Ian said to Bing, you can go on eBay and get some nice quality spear gun for 100 quid. Easily convert it to sling a lead ball down a range. Nice. I did him to the JBO. About to dress up like a ninja and assassinate that yew tree in the night. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I'm Mouse Barton said, I've got some two mil fixed stainless steel. Do you think it would make a good stab on? Yeah, I think so. You'd have to test it. Um, two, maybe. I think two, possibly. Yeah. I think you'd have to check that. But yeah, poss possibly. I don't know. Yeah, you'd have to check that. I don't know. The only way you could te test it, really, I am. Um, test the corner of it and see. But make sure you wear a fucking... Do it safely, you know what I mean? Do it with one of your spears or something. But then a spear, I bet that would get... A, if it stopped a spear, it would definitely stop someone stabbing with a hand sort of thing. I didn't even know. Stainless is more prone to crack because of the... High chromium content. Use me uh, medium carbon tempered steel for armor. I suppose it's if he's got it in it. I know what you mean. That would be the perfect thing if you've got it. He might have just found that. Um, but yeah, I know what you mean. But yeah, the only way I can say is test it really. You know, test it, and it's hard to say. Let me. It's hard. I reckon it, it might do anyway. Two mil, I've just got a ruler in my hand. If it's, I reckon if that's solid two mil, probably would, probably would stand still. Oh, that's how I'm addicted to making armor. 
it, it's good, isn't it? I, I, I enjoy doing all that kind of stuff. I've still got the shield down there. I notice I've got quite a delay on here. I think sort of, I'll dress up like a ghost warrior. I missed that. Then Liam said, oh, two mil fix should stop a knife. Yeah. Liam said, do you live with your brother, Matt? No, no. Pete said, I'm addicted to porn. I think I am as well. <laughs> Pink said, they want to recommend a good quality, reliable slingshot. It isn't expensive. I was looking at Barnick slingshots. Barnick slingshots can be very, um, some people love them, some people hate them. You know what I mean? Um, I think they're all right for what they are. You'll, you can get them cheap. I think they're worth getting one and having a go with it. Yeah, I think so. I think they're worth buying. Just see what you like. And if you don't like it, um, you know. JBO said to Londinium, um, cool video on the Manuki placement. To be honest, not something I've ever thought about. I found that interesting, actually, Londinium. And I even got my cheap ones down, just out of curiosity to see where mine are on there. Um, although on those, you can't take them off or anything because they're cheap wall hangers. Yeah, that, that made me curious. How to, yeah. On them, I have one on the right hand side at the top and one at the bottom on the left hand side. So I suppose it's for in that palm and in that palm holding it like that. But yeah, they're, they're cheap all over anyway. But yeah, it made me, I'd never even ever contemplated that. I don't know the history on swords though, really. A lot of that stuff, I'm into weapons, but the history of things, I'll, I've always been more interested in sort of what they can do. You know, or what I, I don't know. It's, I do like the history of something. I don't know. Just all in what mood I'm in. I've never looked into the history of swords either. Um, Pete said I'd buy, buy a slingshot town or slingshot. How much are they, though? I bet they're quite expensive for what they are, though, aren't they? But then I think, I think it's expensive because I could make one. And that's solid aluminium or something. Um, no, I always think things are expensive only because I know how you can make them. A lot of people can't make a solid aluminium slingshot. Charles said the Cobra slingshots are good. I haven't said hello today, Charles, right, mate? JBO said to Bing, if you buy one, try to get one with an arm brace. Save your arm a lot of aching. Nell's laugh. I'm assuming Nell's laughing at the old porn addiction thing. <laughs> things like said my friend timper made a stab proof vest while we even steel ties together yeah i watched that i watched that it was good liam said cheap black widow things are good fun they hurt if they uh they hurt if they hit you being saying thanks for your advice ian said there's always someone pulling out a barnet with a stabilizer's mic <laughs> had a black widow at a fiver from sug sports no i've got a couple i had mine out the other day and Dinium said, yeah, I think it's an interesting topic. Not many people talk about the Manuki placement in Katana. I haven't seen another YouTuber talk about it. And I found it interesting. I don't always get, I haven't had a chance to comment on hardly any videos, but I've watched them. I did watch, I think, I don't know if I watched the, yeah, I think I watched both of your latest ones. You put a, a couple on lately, though, haven't you? I've, I've watched most, if I subscribe to you, I watch most people's videos. I just sometimes don't comment. I don't get a chance to, and I think we'll have a while comment later. Shouldn't need Bob saying it. <laughs> um, Iron Man said, I love movies. I've spent half my life watching movies. Yeah, same here, mate, definitely. And I, I, I would watch a movie every single night, but the only reason I don't is because I live stream games on Twitch most evenings. That's actually what I'd be doing now, but I haven't, I haven't had time for that. I thought I'd get one of these out anyway, so you know the YouTubers can get to watch some. T two said, "Be careful making your own bow. It takes a lot of craftsmanship. Shot for an archery club for years, and if it breaks, so damaging the effects. Uh, please let a craftsman do it." Yeah, and I suppose you can also waste a lot of time, and it just breaks. And um, Tom said, "Have you ever seen a real Lee Enfield rival?" I think so. I'm pretty sure I have. Londonian said you can buy good slingshots online for eight quid with an arm brace. They are. Slingshot said your brother makes great wooden slingshots in the same way you make that of aluminium. That's it, isn't it? And he makes some at HDPE as well. Liam, see you later, mate. I'll make Liam's one soon. Weapons and stuff. Um, he wants a slingshot, a little simple one. I will make that. I'm thinking about it today. Uh, as I said, I've actually found somewhere 
well not found somewhere my, the money that i need to buy the hammer to make the warhammer i've got that in amazon.com now so yeah i'll be coming soon i think he wants to buy his um new computer first anyway richard said i'm terrible at remembering weapons names and sword type designs i just know about steel and uh, uh move it on anvil i'm quite like that rich in a, you know in a similar way i'll be honest half the half the time i can't even remember the name of the weapons i've got half the time but it's because i i have them for what they are you know we're all we're all different some people are good at remembering details anyway um i think due to the amount i've drunk over my life i've not got a very good fucking memory now i don't know maybe it may be just lack of bothering because i used to be a, if you showed me any gun before i used to be able to tell you fucking what it was the full name what it shot you know how many fucking bullets everything um because that's because i constant i was constantly reading books about guns i've not touched a book about a gun for probably fucking 10 years now so i've lost all that i've lost all that knowledge and i didn't even said yeah i did two on the manuki placement i didn't expect you to watch those two or it'd be too boring for you hey you'll be surprised what i watched but, but i know what you mean that's quite a niche subject isn't it but yeah no i did watch them but yeah even though it's not my thing yeah i did watch them well, i definitely watched one of them anyway um leo said what games do you play literally anything at the minute i'm playing final fantasy 12 but i'll be playing i'm gonna get resident evil 2 soon and i've got you know grand theft Auto 5 call of duty modern warfare no any anything pretty much ian said i subbed your bro mike i keep confusing him with your old first uh i was the old first blood quotes i remember you were saying he loved john j rambo uh same as me and bro that's it yeah because his name used to be john j rambo one 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 yeah i said, mike where did you get your vhs movies i used to go hmv in oxford city back like, there were nine in the 90s and early 2000s most of our vhs we used to get them for the fucking um out of magazines and do the old buy buy one get 10 free um get them sent first don't pay for them till later and never pay for them if i'm honest <laughs> so yeah my whole entire vhs collection are fucking pretty much nicked <laughs> but i was underage at the time so they couldn't have fucking done me for it so yeah not that I knew that at the time. When I said, yeah, my PC will probably be like two, three grand. But I'm fine with waiting, Liam. I'm, I'm ready when you are. I may just buy the Warhammer, the Hammerhead now, so that I've got it. Because I don't, I, to be honest, Liam, I don't mind making it and then holding it for you. That, that, that doesn't bother me in the slightest. I, I'll make it when I'm ready and then you have it when you want. I'm, I'm totally fine with things like that. Being said, Mike, I watched your real zombie scenario gear. Regardless of the zombies or not, it would be a great gear gearless for shit at the fan or if you had to protect your property from a riot uh cheers bing yeah i think it would it would um yeah most of most of the stuff i pick is could could definitely be used in real life anyway yeah in a in a riot situation or a similar thing ian said are blades and both still selling off stock or are they long gone now the website's still there ian but i've not i don't think you can do anything on there if you know what i mean um yeah i think londinium's answered you there as well i'll get on to his in a minute things that said you can combine a slingshot frame with kubaton yeah uh, uh, good one pocket full all right mate weapons i said cheers londinium said ian i want to know the same thing i was on their website and a big black message said closed no more sales but they just got lots of katana stock and have some left on their pages and i was doing uh maybe it might be worth someone giving them a ring if someone's really interested in something you never know you might be able to talk to them behind closed doors if you know what i mean privately might be worth a try if you see because obviously if they've got that stock they're going to want to get rid of it aren't they so it may it may be worth ringing them up and saying or emailing them or something Leo said are you keen on basic first aid and first aid kits yeah i always recommend a first aid kit if I ever go anywhere than fucking 10 miles away from where I live, I normally take a first aid kit with me. I've always got a very basic first aid kit on me at all times in my, um, and I mean very basic, but it's still a first aid kit, in my pocket. 
Our phone lines are closed, are they, London Inn? Yeah, I don't blame you for the um, yeah, I couldn't be off to my emailer. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it might be maybe an email. But yeah, first aid kits, I reckon you yeah, first aid kit's very handy and you should always have one. You know, not always, but you know what I mean. If I go anywhere I suspect I could meet potential strangers who might be hostile. <laughs> Carry your um, first aid kit, you know. Prolon, right, mate. Iron Man's Martin said, do you like the Brexit club? Yes, I do. Although that brings a very heavy nostalgia to me. And sometimes that kind of stuff sort of makes me sad for a heyday that I could never experience ever again. Does that make sense? That's a, a lot of 90s music I can't listen to. Because that was, you know, your teenage years and, you know, and best days of my life. And if I listen to that music... Some people, they listen to old music that reminds them of their teens and they're happy. When I listen to it, it makes me sad because it's something I can never go back to, never have that mental state again, you know. But, yeah. But, yes, I do love The Breakfast. I do like The Breakfast Club, um, Iron Man. Um, Ian says soon they'll, soon they'll have us playing with sucker darts. I think they will, if they could. Debio says, anyone watching the Yankees Red Sox baseball game on Sunday? Oh, Joe, why don't you ever watch any of them? baseball before pocketful said watched your last film night video mate made me laugh was excellent to watch now you need to watch the film itself <laughs> but yeah i've spoiled it all for you now yeah i don't know if i'm going to keep up with that kind of um quality of um, editing i tell you and filming but <laughs> um Richard said, Mike, did you solve the issue with the plastic handle you tried on one of the blades I sent you? Not yet. I, what I might probably do, Rich, I think I'll just take the handle off and redo it. But I've not actually tried again. Slingshot said, for me, it's back to the future. Oh, nice. That's interesting. Ian said, JBO, not on TV here, mate, unless you've got satellite. You used to watch baseball with Todd on Channel 5. Carl, I said, um... Well, check what day it was. I thought it was Friday. Mark said to me, bloody hell, I used to think like that about music. But I can cope with it now. Maybe that way, maybe, if, you know, it'll go for me. But yeah, at the minute, and for years, I can't listen to anything that reminds me of my teen. I can listen to stuff before, 80s music, when I was a kid. Um, and I can listen to stuff after. But anything during my teenage years, so that's like 1995, to like 19 you know 2000 but the later even then yeah yeah i can't listen to it I to, I've, I've got all the fucking oasis albums and stuff like that i can't listen to them because <laughs> it's the way it makes me feel yeah i am so i feel the same way mike that's why i'm making a time machine i've got a time machine the only thing is it only works at making time go quicker i'll explain it one day and only by about 10 seconds, so it doesn't really work. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you ever do that time machine, let me know. I love I can join you. I think it's super glue is a must for first aid. Oh, yeah, and someone was saying about tampons, weren't they? But I missed that. Oh, my um, uh, tampons are a must for first aid kits. The military used to plug roads. That's, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, and super glue. And yeah, originally made to seal wounds in the battlefield. My dad uses it rather than clogging up the NHS. Yep, yeah, that's another. Yeah, very, very good. Yeah. And really do good for what they are if uh jbo was saying about the baseball on bbc i play, check out something called bbc america on youtube bbc america on youtube may have that then the baseball into if i go back 40 years i'll be outside running running flat out <laughs> doing roly polies <laughs> um right t2 said you know I always put a different question out on here. Have you ever encountered something you can't explain without the what? Lots of lots of human shit in random places. No, I don't know. <laughs> um, not that I can think of off the top of my head, but something may come back to me. Pocket force said I thought about how difficult it must have been to edit. I would take you. At least fucking three hours, I'll tell you, Pocket Full. Yeah, that, that fucking video is a nightmare. Real headache. Three or four hours, I reckon, to undo that. The film club video. Londonium said the only American sport I can watch is LFL. Um, check that out. What is LFL then? I've never heard of that. 
don't think what it would be. Benjamin said Detroit, Detroit Rock City was a great comedy. I'll have to check that one out. I've never, I've heard of it. Um, Mark said Mike was exactly the same. It doesn't hurt anymore. Thank. Oh, I'm glad you. I've got hope then, Mark. I appreciate that, mate. Well, how about doing a film night review on Halloween 3 or Hellraiser 2? I'd love to see your take on those. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those those two would be on it one day, Mike, definitely. Uh, possible. Um, I imagine, no, Mike, I have a flux capacitor that we need. It's the flux capacitor we need. <sighs> That's what we need. Ladies, ladies something, is it? Ladies Football League? I don't know. Oh, is it that where they're wearing the really like high tops and that, and and it's American football? Is it that? Frank Ocean, right, mate? Oh, what's in Australia? Are you? Nice one. Good day, mate. <laughs> I say mate so often. A couple of people have asked me. Well, not not on here, but when I say, I always say mate. Um, I always write mate, and I had a few people like when I type say, oh, "I'm Australian." Slingshot said we need Doc Brown's DeLorean. Anybody said tampons are perfect for fixing axe wounds. <laughs> you should have said bleeding axe wounds. I reckon that would have been better. Uh, Nandinian said I watched the LFL for scientific purposes. <laughs> I think I've worked out what it is now. JBO said so I told my little brother when he was young that tampons were for nosebleeds and he came out one each nostril and just in case. That's it. Uh, Iron Man said tampons and duct tape can fix a wound better than bleeding out. Yeah, I've got duct tape. I must get hold of some fucking tampons. Last time I was down the local sort of pound shop, I was going to get some, but I never got around to it. But I have got duct tape in my um, survival kits and not survival kits, first aid kits, and my little one that I have in my um, chest pocket. And Dinium said um, NFL is booty football. I have seen that, yeah. He said, um, you look like a Man U fan. You know what? I've never been into football. Not not at all. Got no team. Me and Malcolm are in slightest. My other brothers are. And most of my relatives are. But yeah, I've never and I used to play a bit of football, you know, in you know, you know, like outside the house and that. And never used to play at school though. I never had an interest in playing football at school. Or very, very occasionally. But I wasn't one of them kids who played, you know, football in the playground every day. I'd rather be doing something else. But no, I've never been into um, never been into football. I watch the England World Cup, and you know, I'm not really into any sports. I like, you know, I can watch boxing. I can watch things like UFC. But most blokes will watch that, wouldn't they? Um, those two things. I like there. Uh, weirdly enough, if it's a sport, darts. <laughs> Sadly, crazy cripple. I'm not allowed to do super chats. But you can uh, you can join Patreon for a month if you want. I would love that. Join Patreon for a month and then just leave. <laughs> I've been demonetized, mate. So yeah, they fucked me over. <laughs> you English wank around all super chat. <laughs> yeah, sadly you can't, mate. Did you ever play airsoft? Not really, not like properly or anything. You know what I mean? You know, no. I've shot airsoft guns, you know what I mean? But no, I never. Um... Me, yeah, I said, Go and Price is my favourite um, data. I like some of the old, you know, um, Raymond Van Barneveld. Uh... Who else? I'm a bit old school. I like some of the older ones, you know, or like the BDO. It is an arm wrestling, dart, snooker, boxing, again, sports. I like watching. The only thing with snooker, the um, the fucking and I play darts. I've got a dartboard right here. Let's see if I've got my darts in here because they sometimes not in here. They're in the fucking uh, summer house. Oh, I've got some darts there without a um, flight on it. Don't know if you be able to see that. Yeah, I've got a dartboard just there. Um, what was I saying? Snooker. The commentary is so... Um, snooker commentary makes me fall asleep. Bing said... Uh, oh, yeah, I was going to say, I showed you that dart. You can even see it. 
Means that likewise, I cannot stand football. In fact, I can't sit there and watch any sport, golf, darts, or anything. The only things I like is boxing and um, World or Europe Cup. Yeah, I like that thing. And I can watch the Olympics again because you're supporting your country. Um, you know what I mean? And same with the World Cup and the European Cup because we're supporting England or whatever. Uh, that's the only reason I watch those because it's, you know, they're representing us, so I'll watch it. You know what I mean? Video <laughs> 180. Uh, but yeah, never really been into any sports. Bandium said Google was just caught red handed by US Congress and Veritas, though. They will get demonetized. But I hope they do. They demonetize me, they demonetize them bastards. Crazy Crip said, if I figure it out, send you 100. Well, thank you, mate. Appreciate that. Um, Ian said, um, Judeans people. Oh, yeah. That's from. Um, yeah, the Judeans people's front from um, a point up there, Life of Brian. <laughs> Where's that girl? Bunch of wankers, people, people's front of Judea, splitters. <laughs> Things that said many, oh, now we'll send rugby. Rugby, yeah, I've never really watched rugby, but um, I've, I used to quite often have people say to me that I used to, I should be a rugby player. You know, why don't I do rugby, but because of my sort of size slingshot said many old movies have a hero and a wacky invent to help in the hero it's like a modern version of king arthur merlin that's a good point actually um slingshot yeah i like that that's true isn't it yeah very good um way of putting that yeah yeah it is t2 said love my darts in the man cave bar nice i'd have that i've got a man cave anyway but ain't got a bar in it Get rid of the bed, put the bar there. <laughs> JBO said, have you seen that medieval USC thing? Two blows in armour battle. Two blokes in armour um, batting the shit out of each other. I've seen of it, if you know what I mean. I've seen the, the thumbnails for it, but I've never seen it yet. <laughs> Crazy Crip said, without others taking the big percentage. And didn't even say, um, some sports I like, but... I, but I can't watch sports often like a fan does. Yeah. Oh, bit of the, I'll tell you what. Me and Rich were on about World's Strongest Man. That, that that can be interesting to watch. Video Base said, um, I can watch UFC or gameplay, but never golf and stuff like that. Too slow. And Liam said, do you watch any HEMA sparring? That's mostly what I watch in Kenjutsu. No, I've never, I don't, like, I've seen bits of it. Like old Scalagrims, but um, I don't sub to anyone who does that apart from him. Rita said, I used to play darts as a hobby. I used old lead filled brass Schofield darts that took pay for like nice. Now that's proper old school. I'm quite good at darts. I, people have told me that I'd be good enough to play for a team anyway. You know, I bet I ain't like really good, but I'm better than, you know, I could beat anyone who ain't any good at darts, basically. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, Iron Man said, Mike, I could have been a rugby player or a boxer, but my dad was a lazy sod. <laughs> Razor Cripple said, I'm only in Scotland. Do you have a post box or PayPal? I've got a PayPal. If you want to, um, my email is on my, go go to the about section of this video or on my channel as an email. And then I'm going to sort that out if you want, Crazy Cripple. I appreciate that, by the way, mate. I didn't even say JBR, I mean M1 or Battle of the Nations. Doesn't even say Scalas and Yeah, I think he is really. I think a lot of his stuff is, um, you know, there are obviously people who know more about it than him, sort of thing, you know what I mean? Ian said, um, used to love ordering the Winmar dartboard from the catalogue. Great universe. Versal or Freeman's good old days, Mike, when you could order an air rifle on credit. Yeah, you know what? You can still get a bloody um, darts catalogue, though. Look at this. They still fucking do them. It's about the only thing I know that they still do fucking catalogues. Well, I know what you mean. Most things are online now. But yeah, you can still get a bloody. 
start of catalog still order it at the back of it if you want actually no they took that bit out they did have the order for me last time um scalagrim but yeah, i know scale quite well I, I say that i used to know him quite well and he's a proper he's a proper decent bloke because um he i used to like do like um what do you call them like you know uh response videos and that with him when we was both small channels at one point i had more subscribers than than him but then his channel shot shot up um but yeah you know he's a decent bloke but you know Video says Scar gets a lot of injuries. Bing said he was Scar. JBO said always found Scar a bit whiny, to be honest. But yeah, um, I'll be honest, I, I have resubscribed to him recently. But I, I barely watch any of his videos. I'm I'm into certain ones rather than others. You know what I mean? But um, you know, I I preferred I'll be honest, a lot of the videos he does now I have no interest in. But I still think he's a good bloke, purely because I used to talk to him a lot in the old days. Before he was big. If you look on my channel, so it's scale on my channel, and you'll actually see videos of him that I've put on my channel, um, as like a shout out to him, and I've won I've won stuff off him before. But like I said, this was in the days when he had you know, I had two I had twenty thousand subscribers, he had fifteen. And then he said, Oh yeah, he knows a lot about swords now after all the years, but he still doesn't train every day. I can tell. That's why he never wears a T-shirt like Metatron because he's got a skinny forearm. Um, I like him. Uh, he's still a newbie, though. Oh, no intermediate at best. I'm subscribed to his videos and always encourage him. Yeah, he's a decent bloke, though, isn't he? But, you know, as I say, I don't know a lot about that kind of stuff anyway. Um, but, yeah. Who's uh, said LA reminds me of a swordsman character. Um, oh, Londonian Armory. Yeah. In the free online game armed with wings smoking class or do you know who that is londonian i imagine um scouts should shout you out mike and not be so selfish <laughs> oh i bet if you look at some of his old videos i probably have been mentioned to me years and i think when when he actually no he did mention me once on one of his um it was possibly the sleeve cutting one or the making armor for magazines he actually did mention me and did say um yeah he did say weapon that did this first sort of thing but him said lol who is that you'll have to look it up i'm gonna look it up london and see see what he looks like i'll tell you whether he's um nothing comes up what's the game what's the game saying that like someone's gonna say it to me um armed with wings i don't know i can't find nothing right i'm gonna have to go off soon recommend the moon for you always bloody say that i don't know i can never think of anything what what do you want? Modern, brand new. Uh, tell you what, let me turn my PS3 on and I'll have a look at what I've got on there. I can tell you about. I'll have a look on here. This is where I have all my movies. What do you want? Horror. Heroin addict. Oh, heroin addict. Right, let's see what I've got. Yeah, I'll be off any minute. Crazy cripple, you'll have to email me. There. And then I can send you the PayPal information. Right, on my hard drive. Did you say something new? Um, what the fuck have I got? 
Oh, I've got Dreamscape, right? I've got Dreamscape in HD. I didn't know I had that. I've got had that. Um, that's that's eighties film though. You ever seen Don't Breathe? That's quite good. The Man Who Killed Hitler in the Bigfoot. That's pretty good. Oh, just going off the Irish film. That's what I've got. High Tension. You ever seen that? High Tension or Switchblade Romance. It's the same film. That's what I've got here. What the fuck are all the new films I fucking got? Oh, 80s only B movies. Oh, I've got some on here that are old. So. No, I've got Return of the Living Dead. You've seen that. Um, Prince of Darkness, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Dreamscape. Try Dreamscape. Or Bore. Or American Wealth for London. You'd have seen most of them anyway, wouldn't you? All right, just see if there's anything I've missed. Um, Richard said, one thing I dislike about Metatron is he reckoned you have to start shooting bows as a child to shoot high draw weights used in warfare, which isn't true. Dean Jumper. All right, mate. Oh, I'm just going off now. <laughs> and Dean said, no spooky stuff. I don't have a blanket to hide under. <laughs> Well, there's some good recommendations there for um, that Dreamscape. I will be doing Dreamscape eventually for the film club. You know, it might not come for years because I plan on doing um, the uh, film club for at least once a week for fucking till I can't do it anymore. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So that should be years and years and years. All right. I hope you've got a film recommendation there. Um. So I'll be on again Friday. So there may not be another video now till Friday night. I'll, if I get time, I might get time to do one in the day on Friday, like a proper video, but I'll see. If not, it'll just be another stream um, Friday night. <laughs> Ian said, I remember Dreamscape, Mike Dennis Quaid and the guy who played Luther in 48 hours. Going into dreams and fighting. I remember they were on a train. That's it. A very, very good film. That I'll do a film club on that one day. Because I like I I like films about dreams as well. I think that I think Dreamscape may have influenced um, Inception. <clears throat> now I can't find it either, London. I looked it up as well. <clears throat> I can't find it. My throat's going funny now. <clears throat> <laughs> is that Red Dead Redemption piece or is it something else or is it something you made up alright all right, I better go I'll see you all later thanks for watching it's been a good stream have you liked the stream before you go I'll have to have a good think T2 the only thing I remember anything weird was um, you know I've come across weird people and stuff like that um one one thing that I thought was really bizarre, but now it's been explained to me, it wasn't as weird as I thought it was. Like, you know, it seemed very bizarre at the time, but then when it was explained to me that someone sort of knew about it, yeah, don't matter. Anyway, bring it up next time. Thank you for all. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you Friday. Don't forget to like the video. See you later. Cheers for watching. That's been a good stream tonight. Enjoyed that.